Hello everybody and welcome to the very first episode of our NHL 22 Pittsburgh Penguins franchise mode. Uh, today we're just going to kind of be doing the, um, I guess sort of the uh, introduction episode. I'm going to be going through all the rosters and things like that. We're going to kind of be formulating a plan for how we want to move forward with this um, and just a bunch of different things like that. So I think we're just going to kind of um, get right into it. Uh, I do though want to throw out a couple little uh, rules and stuff like that that I've put in place. Uh, so first and foremost, this is only a five-year rebuild the whole, or five-year um, franchise mode. The whole point of this is actually to not rebuild. It's to uh, to get Sidney Crosby as many Stanley Cups as possible. Um, you know, within the next five years. Um, I decided to do this because the rosters aren't fully updated and things like that, and I, I'm just playing the trial right now, so I didn't really want to go through and do all this work of editing rosters, and it just, it, to be honest, I just kind of didn't think it would make sense to do, like, a whole rebuild, right, without as many, um, real t or true life prospects and things like that like Russian prospects like Ivan Moroshnichenko this year Matt Vemichkov and guys like that um you know I figured why would I add you know like I'm not just gonna add those two prospects and then like kind of go along with some big rebuild I wanted to add you know do a whole roster sort of um overhaul uh for an actual rebuilding franchise mode um so basically that's kind of why we're doing the Penguins right now um you know, and just, I, I figured it'd be fun, you know, a, a little bit different than what we tried to do last time, um, which I will get into that in a later video, but right now we're just going to kind of try to, uh, kind of try and, you know, not waste as much time as possible, but I will throw out the rules now. The rules are, I cannot trade any picks outside of the five years, um, so anything outside of the next five years picks, I can't trade any of them. Um, obviously we want to win the cup as many times as possible. I cannot trade Malkin, Crosby, or Letang, and I have to do everything to re-sign them if expired. That means even overpay them. So they literally have to be on this team pretty much for the next five years. I cannot trade them nothing, no matter how bad they are. So without further ado, let's just kind of get right into this. So I'm going to be going through um, and just kind of looking at the roster here. Um, all right, so obviously with the forwards, we got, you know, Crosby and Malkin are going to be our one-two punch at center. Um, and then after that, we got Gensel, Rust, and Kapanen, and Zucker. Um, those are kind of the uh, the wingers in the top six. Um, they're not too bad. I'm You know, you, you would kind of want to make some changes there, I guess. <laughs> you know, get some, uh, get some better wingers, but... Um, for now, they should be okay. Um, obviously, we'll have to reevaluate going forward. Um, after that, we got Jeff Carter, Teddy Bluger, um, Zachary Aston Reese, D Danton Heinen, Brock McGinn, Evan Rodriguez, um, Dominic Simon, uh, I think it's Radim, Radim Zahorna, Radim Zahorna, yep. Um, so, you know, it, it, it definitely kind of drops off after the top two centers there, but or after, I guess, the top three forwards. Um, but, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, we will want to kind of add to this, try and hopefully add to that middle six, um, try to make it a little bit better. Um, on the defense side of things, uh, we got Chris Letang, and then, <laughs> yeah, and then it drastically falls off, um, even though we're paying a combined total of, what is that? Just under about five. Uh, friggin' almost... Oh my god, yeah. Almost, uh... Jesus, I cannot do math right now. It's it, it's a little late at night. Uh, I think I about $16 million, $17 million, somewhere around there. It's, uh... Yeah, it's pretty ugly, to say the least. Um, so we definitely will want to make some moves with some of these guys. Try and move some of them out. Um, and see if we can't, you know, use some of that extra cap space to, uh... To, you know, supplement the roster overall. Um, in net, we seem to be pretty good. Uh, we got Casey to Smith for one more year, and then we got Tristan Jari after that. A tandem of 83 overalls isn't too bad. Um, there's definitely worse goalie situations out there, so that's good overall. Um, and also, uh, outside of this, obviously, as most people probably know, we're not going to get a whole lot of help from prospects. 
Um, our best prospect is uh, probably uh, Pierre Olivier Joseph, or actually probably uh, Samuel Poulin. Um, see here, I didn't even upgrade Philip Hollander, who's at 63 overall, so he's definitely going to be trade bait. Uh, same with this Pustinen guy. Um, yeah, honestly, all these prospects are probably going to get traded. <laughs> Um, I don't think any of these guys are going to make it. Probably not even Poulin, because we're probably going to want to use, you know, whatever trade value he has to try and, you know, get a uh, get a legitimate player um, in our top end of our roster right now. So, all right, okay. Um, what about Net? Yeah, Net, we're not getting any help whatsoever. <laughs> oh, Lord, look at this. Louis Domingue, <laughs> and then we got Diorio and... Oh, jeez. Um, man. This is going to be tough. <laughs> it's going to be even tougher than I thought, to be honest. I thought we'd at least have, like, one or two, you know, decent, like... I don't even know. I I guess I just don't pay enough attention to Pittsburgh. Um, so this should be a lot of fun there. Um, we're going to edit the lines right now, though. Try and kind of see um, where the moves we can make could come from so Jeff Carter's not gonna there okay oh my lord it's really slow <laughs> if you haven't realized oh my lord it like it, they really have to fix them but I don't know if they will um okay so Jake Gensel's left winger Zucker I think is a left winger okay does that make any Okay, so against little Crosby Kapanen seems to be okay. Um, Zucker, though, seems to be the best bet up there. Um, second line, though, I wonder if like we have to get a sniper or something. So his most optimal position is right there. Yeah, and they like a sniper there. So let's see if we can't get a some sort of a sniper. Um, honestly, look at this. Um, hmm. Okay, so for right now, this might be one of the better situations we have, I guess. Um, no, we are paying Brock making a stupid amount of money, which we are going to try and get away from. Four by two. Why would you do that? Why would they do that? Um, <laughs> such a bad contract, but, you know, we're, we're probably going to have to, you know, get a better sniper here. Um, so we're probably going to have to move on from Jeff Carter, which is fine. He has, takes up almost $3 million. Um and he's, he's okay. He, he's not great, but he's okay. Um, this third line, though, would be an elite third line. Um, Teddy Bluger is less than ideal, but, I mean, considering you have Kasperi Kapanen and, and Brian Rust there on the third line, you know, it's, you can't really complain. Um, so really, it's just that second line that needs to be changed, because honestly, like, this top line isn't too bad. Um, if we can just have a plus three there with, like, the worst player on that line being Zucker, um, we definitely have worse problems to deal with. Uh, on defense, oh, Lord. Oh, yikes. Oh, man. Okay, so Michael Matheson, who's paid just shy of $5 million. So he is our second highest paid defenseman, right? Yeah. He's our second highest paid defenseman. And he has horrible chemistry throughout the lineup. So we're definitely going to be looking to move him. Um, we're going to try. Um, yeah, I don't even think there's really anything else we're going to be getting here. Um, oh, he's a playmaker. Damn it. He used to be a sniper, I swear. But um, Okay, so Ruedel actually matches with this quite a bit. Um, what about Fadun? Does he? No, okay. So one quick fix we can do right now is put Chad Ruedel right there. Um, and if we can get another guy who fits in with that third line, uh, we'll definitely be able, you know, be in a good position, I guess. Uh, what about Chris Letang? Okay. All right. That's not good. <laughs> uh, he has very middling chemistry with that first line, but that third line is the best for him, which is not what you want out of your 87 overall defenseman. Um, and I don't want to give up the coach either because, like, he seems to be okay 
with um, the forward group. So, like, I don't know. Like, he seems to... Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe he... Maybe uh, maybe we should move on from the coach. Um, but that's not what we're going to do right yet. Uh, we'll kind of wait, I guess, to see. Um, okay. I think that's the best we can do, really. Um, so we're going to look at the free agents. Uh, I do know that there are some good free agents out there, like Brady Kachuk we could get. Um, I'm not sure if it makes sense, like if it's realistic for us to get him, but he'd be interesting at least. Um Eric Gustafson would actually be really interesting. He'd be really cheap. Um, and he should be helpful, at least. Uh, Nikita Gusev. He could be really useful. Uh, like, he could be a useful, you know, middle six guy for us. Possibly same with Dominic Cahoon. Okay, we're going to sort by UFA. Okay. So let's go by forwards first, I guess, here. So by overall, okay, so Eric Stahl, he actually could be a really good third line center for us. And we got uh, Bobby Ryan, who could be good as well. Okay. So we could add some of our pieces here, to be honest. Okay, this actually might not be too bad. And then um, we could add, ooh. Olgan and Svechnikov, and Josh Hose. I actually really like that. Because one thing something like this could do is it could help us supplement um, our pretty weak prospect pool. Uh, like, we wouldn't have to worry, you know, about trading away one of our random prospects because we could have a player that's on the cusp of making the NHL right here. Um, so I think we actually are going to do that. Um, so I think that is something that we're going to look to do. Um, we might be making some... Ooh, Julius Hanka. Okay, he could be good. All right, so... So Eric Gustafson's probably the best bet um, to get on defense. Looking here, like, there isn't really much. I mean, we could get Demers. We could get Vatnin. Vatnin would actually be really interesting. And he'd probably go well with... Um, with uh, Dumoulin. Um, you know, you could have, like, a second pairing of him and Dumoulin. Like, that could maybe help. I don't know. Or a third pairing. I don't know. Uh, you know, it could be useful, um, you know, to trade away Michael Matheson. We could get, like, an Eric Stahl, Bobby Ryan, Nikita Gusev, and or maybe, you know, get a uh, Cahoon. Um, as well as get, you know, Hosang and guys like that. So, there's going to be moves that we might want to make. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering if maybe I should have edited him out of the prospect or out of the free agency. Tuka Rask would be really interesting um, to get. Be a really interesting goalie. Oh, he's only three and a half, too. That's so cheap, but. Like, that's, like, almost borderline cheating, but... <laughs> I mean, if you can get him in... Um, hmm. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, Poulin has some good uh, trade value, so does Joseph. Yeah, that actually is one thing. They completely overhauled it. So, like, you look at Sidney Crosby here. He's got, like, almost full bar. Like, 75% or 90% or 80%, whatever. Um, and then you got, like, Jake Gensel, who's an 87 overall medium elite. And he's, like, a friggin' quarter of the way. <laughs> Same with, like, Chris Letang and Evgeny Malkin. It's it's crazy. But, you know, that's what uh, X-Factors do. So, you know, like, I, I do kind of like it because I feel like there is, you know, a big step up from someone like Jake Gensel and Sidney Crosby, even if they're producing, you know, maybe at similar levels or something. Um, or even if they are as important to each other or, like, to the team. Um, I feel like they, you know, I feel like that does kind of make some sense. Uh, okay. So, I, I'm not going to, like, do any trades this video. I'm just kind of trying to look here, um, just to see. So, in order to, like, get rid of Cap, we could definitely trade Matheson, but he's got, like, no trade value there. Um, hmm. I do kind of want to see, what is the market for him? 
I'm gonna find trade here. We won't make any trades, like I said, um, but I do kind of just want to see. Michael Matheson. No trades found. Okay, so we would have to trade him with someone. Um, and actually, I didn't look at this before, but I wonder what the draft pick situation is like. Yes, yeah, so we got a first, a second, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, that's not bad. We got a, quite a bit of picks. We literally only lost our third. Um, next draft, we only lost a fourth. Draft after that. And we even added a seventh. Draft after that, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. So anything past here, so anything past 2027, we cannot trade. Um, but we have all of our firsts, which is really good. Um, so we can either here in year one, maybe like use our first, just to kind of, you know, just to get a good prospect. Um, you know, like, like someone who's going to be helpful to the team years down the line. Um, or we could use it to make trades, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of different decisions we can make here. Uh, who's, what's his name again? Marcus Pedersen. For some reason I thought it was Michael Pedersen. Um, <laughs> oh lord, okay. Uh, Hollander does have good trade value, which is nice. Or at least like... Relative, you know, like he's got more trade value than Kasperi Kapanen, so I'd say that's pretty good. Um, dang. Okay. So I think that's probably going to do it <laughs> for this one. Uh, so it looks like next episode we're probably going to try to make a move um, for someone like, or trade away someone like Michael Matheson. Um, and then we're going to try and add Hosang, Mulgan, Svechnikov. So we're just going to have to clear um, SPCs. Uh, and then we're going to try to add someone like Eric Stahl, Bobby Ryan, Nikita Gusev. So there's probably going to be a couple trades, to be honest. Um, Eric Gustafson, Sammy Vatanen. So um, yeah, if you guys like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.